just don't have a car. So I will give you an update when I know a bit more information about what the biosurface peel is. And we'll see you later. to do the procedure. Now I have just given a biosurface peel, really really easy to do, lovely results on the girl I've done it on, so my client for today. I've now taken my own makeup off and I'm going to be having the treatment done myself. Hi guys, so I've just got back from my course in Exeter with Dermalogica for the Biosurface Peel. I obviously did all the training there where I got to learn how to give one and I also got to receive one. So this is my skin now after having it done. It has got a real nice glow to it and it feels super super soft. It does feel a little bit tight at the moment but that is very very normal when um, you have that done. So the biosurface peel is a biologically active biphasic peel and this means it is a progressive technique used in the way we apply the products onto the skin. So in chemical peels what they do is they remove the outer layer of the skin and this causes a wound, re a wound healing response. So by that the deeper layers in the skin respond by regenerating new skin cells and production of collagen so it gives our skin a more so smoother youthful glow and look to the skin so by doing this more regularly it will help to reduce fine lines fade pigmentation treat acne and also give a nice smoothness to the skin and get rid of any roughness the biosurface peel from Dermalogica is a four stage peel so stage one is prep. Now what this has is purely salicylic acid in it. So what that does is break down oils on the skin and works as a degreaser to completely clear the skin ready for stage two. Stage two is an enzyme active. Now what this does is breaks down bonds in the skin using the enzymes so that the skin is ready for the acid 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 active which is the stage 3 so that it can absorb deeper into the skin so stage 3 is the acid active now this is what re renews the skin resurfaces the skin and hydrates the skin you can layer up with this product that's what I was talking about earlier with this technique where you layer it up um, and with that it really works deeper into the skin as it's being absorbed right through each layer Stage four is the descaler. So after you've had those enzymes and acids onto the skin, we're going to need to take something onto the skin to neutralise it back to how it was before we start. Now this scaler, descaler does that. It will help to take away any, sensi any sensitivity as well. Like I said, if you do have a skin that's not as healthy as some others, you will feel more sensitivity just because your barrier has already been impaired. So what can we expect after we've had the peel done? So I have just had one done earlier today, this afternoon, and as I was having it done, it felt lovely on the skin. I didn't get very much irritation. I've got quite a healthy skin to begin with. So the healthier your skin is, the better your results are gonna be. So you wanna make sure your skin is nice and hydrated. So if you are thinking about having one of these done, you wanna start prepping your skin now, getting a good skincare routine going. So like I said, you've got a nice, healthy skin. 
so I didn't really feel too much of a sensation on the skin but other people may feel a slight tingling a slight heat sensation and that is completely normal it is a chemical peel it is a high level of exfoliation so that is normal to feel um, straight after the treatment you may feel your skin can be a little bit tight again this is normal for the chemical uh, for the chemical peel um, 72 hours after your treatment so three days later you'll start to see your skin going a little bit dry it could possibly go peeling um, depending on the depth of your peel um, and that is where your new epidermis is becoming in place and your old one is shedding the skin um, this can take up to five, one to five days um, so you want to make sure you're hydrating your skin thoroughly and following your aftercare advice given to you by your skin therapist so that's it from me for today I will catch up with you in 72 hours to see how my skin is looking right now I'm quite happy with the results I've got quite a glowing skin going on my skin does feel nice and soft um, and I will see how this continues and how the peeling process happens on me Hi guys, so it is now Monday, so I had the biosurface peel done on Thursday, so I've left it a good three and a half days. Um, my skin is starting to feel really super soft, you have got to keep on top of your hydration. I have found that it has been a little bit dry, um, but that's probably where it's starting to peel. So I have just combated that by spritzing my face throughout the day with a multi-active toner, and I found that that's really started to help. Um, my skin is it's looking a bit more clearer it's looking less red as well and inflamed as it was before I will include a photo of my before the treatment straight after the treatment so you can see it's a progressive treatment so it does take time and um, to see those results I'm really really happy with it it is something that I will decide to keep up and um, so because I'm worried with a little bit of acne and things I'm gonna look to have my next one done in about another week and a half and then I'm gonna try and keep it up monthly just so that I can keep on top of it and make sure that I'm removing that sort of layer of skin, getting the dullness away from my skin. Um, but I'm really, really happy with my results um, and I would love to see how they do continue with a course of treatments. And um, they do say that you could have a course of three or six treatments, um, which I would highly recommend doing so you're going to get the full results out of the product itself. Um, so I'm really really happy with that if you enjoyed this video please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already please make sure to do so for more videos like this okay thanks